London, Paris, New York, Toronto. Canadian-based photography legend Struan has had an impressive career over the past 40 years. Struan has shot some of the most recognizable faces in the world, such as Nelson Mandela. Struan still, to this day, is the only fashion photographer to have his work exhibited in Canada's National Gallery. And for good reason, as Struan's eye for shooting women and fashion is rivaled by few. Oh, leave that, leave that. <laughs> I really didn't plan to get into fashion photography. Most photographers back in the 70s were generalists, so we shot a bit of everything under the sun. And uh, I realized that uh, I loved uh, shooting people, you know, shooting models and actors, and uh, I really enjoyed that. And decided at one point, uh, just instead of being a jack of all trades, concentrate on something and, and do it well. I like things that are exotic, probably more on the erotic side. Um, I love the sensuality of the women in my shots, so I love to bring that out. And a lot of it's a, how much I can get away with um, in terms of the personality I'm working with. Well, fashion is all about creating a style. I think a lot of us search for that. Uh, we start taking pictures and then we realize that we're doing it maybe subconsciously. A lot of my European background I, gave me a little bit of a European flavor to a lot of my shots. Uh, I love doing horizontals because I love using, incorporating backgrounds. And that led to, obviously, wanting to see women, it's a bit like window shopping, wanting to see women doing certain things in front of the lens. And I'm probably a bit of a romantic, so a lot of that comes into my shots. And uh, I see women as beautiful. Uh, creatures, so I, I love to sort of pull a lot of that out, and you, you want to try and hopefully capture some of that when you shoot fashion. So, a lot of what the style was created by a mix of the two. My view on life, which probably isn't real, <laughs> fashion isn't real. I think after several decades of shooting this, you become a little uh, tougher on yourself, and like you say, been there, done that done this a hundred times, you know, how am I going to up the ante? It's always upping the ante and it's got to be very avant-garde. So you do have to be edgy and you've got to, I think, even uh, scare yourself a little bit if you don't scare yourself. As I say, if you don't screw up, you're not really trying hard enough. So the whole idea is to really push the envelope as much as you can and uh, eventually you find your style and uh, that changes as you get a little older. You see life a little differently. So that starts to get incorporated into your images. Many of his images have a narrative quality to them. His black and white work has a film noir style, stark, deeply shadowed, and evocative. He breathes life, emotion, and passion into each shot. Struan is a much sought after award-winning photographer who has won Cleo's for his advertising work. Well, when I started out shooting fashion, um, obviously I moved from doing models, comps, and actors' headshots to doing magazine work. Uh, I suddenly realized, though, when it came to advertising, that for the same shot I did that beauty shot for, for a cover, I could be paid about ten times more for an advertising shot. But once you get into editorial, you can open up a little bit, and uh, they hire you to do what you what you do best. You know, a lot of people think that shooting for a magazine and flying the bomb is just, it sounds like a lot of fun, but I'm not saying uh, just because advertising has stress, editorial doesn't. We do have uh, a time limit, getting up at 5 in the morning and making sure that everybody's on set by 6.30 certainly um, adds to the, uh, the mix. 
we do have uh, a time limit. We're working with a celebrity who has a grueling schedule. Uh, we've got to work with the weather. There's a big cloud in the way. <laughs> Otherwise the sun would be hitting this right now. So I'm about here for the wine angle. I don't think we're going to get much luck there. Uh, fortunately, the sun did eventually come over the horizon. We had to wait an extra hour. For a magazine, uh, there's always a little eye candy yeah. shot that you want to do for an opening yeah. page to establish the, uh, the location and the personality you're going to be shooting. And we had India Hicks uh, in, in this tree in the middle of the water. A beautiful eye candy shot. Can somebody uh, order some wind? Just a little bit? No. Everybody blow? <laughs> Good. Oh yes, here comes the wind, I love that. We got you. And then the um, second shot decided to change the outfit, make it a little more colorful. We threw in an umbrella and uh, sort of pumped up the, the color in the, in the shot, so it had a bit of a contrast. Okay, here we go again. Beautiful. The sun did come up eventually, otherwise we would have had to do it the next morning. So all of these time restraints uh, do factor in. That is beautiful. Let's try this and start here. So shooting uh, India was, you know, a delight. And obviously being in the Bahamas and uh, we had the luxury of, you know, some beautiful scenery. It's just the thrill of getting those, you know, the magic hour and the light and uh, the subject matter that we had, as you'll see by the shots uh, that we took, uh, certainly is the magic you're looking for.